let's go back to our top story now, the summit between Turkey, Russia and Iran in Ankara. All three agreeing on the need to protect Syria's territorial integrity and sovereignty and calling for a lasting ceasefire. Uh, Ozdan Zeynep Oktav is a political science professor at Istanbul Medeniyet University and joins us now. Good to have you with us. Um, the, uh, the, the joint statement from the three leaders talks about um, the, uh, the need to combat any uh, opportunity to try and create a new reality on the ground. They're talking about protecting uh, Syria's territorial integrity. Tell me what their concerns are and how difficult that would be. Um, in my opinion, uh, the three sides uh, emphasize the territorial integrity of Syria. This is very important at the time when Turkey launched op military operations uh, Afrin and uh, Turkey is aiming uh, launching new operations to other parts of Syria uh, because they treat uh, sites, I mean uh, Iran, Turkey and Russia uh, mainly aiming the stabilization in the region because lasting war in, the, in Syria is very costly for three uh, countries. Uh, in parallel with Geneva talks they started the uh, Astana process and this uh, Sochi and Ankara meetings uh, working very efficiently in my opinion because uh, mainly because the three sides are trying to finalize the war situation in Syria and in my opinion this is a very realistic uh, aim uh, and uh, I believe that the three sides are very sincere in, uh, in finishing the uh, war situation in Syria. But they're also calling for a lasting ceasefire, and, and as we know, we've seen the Security for... Council resolution um, also calling for a ceasefire, and that didn't work. Yes. So is there any hope that a, a ceasefire going forward is possible? Uh, you know, uh, before coming to Turkey, Putin also uh, talked to Stefan Mistura, uh, UN uh, Special Envoy, and uh, they also, I mean, the Turkey, Russia, and Iran, always emphasizing these talks are not against Geneva talks. They try to uh, uh, make these talks in parallel with Geneva and. Uh, by uh, in being in contact with the United Nations and the, uh, in my opinion uh, they will try to legitimize and they will try to explain these talks to the uh, world uh, and the, these three countries want uh, these talks to be legitimized and to be accepted by the uh, uh, international society in my opinion and it is possible to realize a peace and they also recognize established uh, de-escalation zones in Astana process you know and they want to continue uh, the ceasefire and de-escalation zones with the Ankara uh, summit. Professor good to speak with you thank you very much indeed for that. Ozdan Zeynep Oktav there.